Hey there. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Good, good. It's a pleasure to be speaking with you. I really enjoyed your work on uh, The Diplomat. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Appreciate it. Can you tell me what drew you to the show and to the role? Uh, I can. Uh, and I think it's, it's... Have you watched all of it, have you? Not all of it, no. Not all of it. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, so what drew me to the show, actually... So I was coming to the end of working on another show. Um, and so my team was starting to kind of float ideas around with me because it looked like availability was was going to happen and i had actually said to them really don't want to sign any any contracts for a long show or anything like that i i think i just need some time away from that i want to go and do some more film um i like the idea of seeing a story beginning middle and end in one script and then building an arc according to that and not having to suddenly, you know, get two scripts and go, oh my gosh, wait, he's got, what? He's got three arms? Okay, let's make that work. And, you know, and then I read this and I was like, that's good. And why did I think it was that good? I, th I felt the level of detail, the level of care in the writing, the level of um, ambition in the writing, uh, the density. I just thought I want to know more about the people that are making this. I want to know more about this character because you see a bit of Denison in the beginning and then he begins to grow. But some of the, the sides that they had sent me were from later episodes, which seemed to that, which definitely intrigued me, but seemed to be at odds with the breakdown of the character, a foreign secretary in a conservative government, and then in his speeches, some of the things that he was caring about and passionate about didn't, didn't necessarily sort of lend themselves to what one would assume a conservative foreign secretary would necessarily be passionate about passionate about <clears throat> and so when I met Deborah and we talked about who Denison was and how he had gotten to the position and why he thinks the way he does that complex juxtaposed um, life um, made me think yeah I I would like to know more about him and I'd like to know more about these people. And so that's what drew me. And thankfully, they felt the same. Um, and so here we are. One of the nice things I think about this being a TV show is that he really is a character who, if you turned it off after one or two episodes, you might think he really doesn't play much of a part in it. And so you get to have that that payoff for people who keep watching and keep going. Um, but of course, it's a show that's being released all at once with all eight episodes available to stream on the first day. Is that your recommended course of viewing or do you think it's better to sort of break it up? I think it might be better to break it up. And, and here's why, because I don't think it's a show that you can watch and be doing other bits, clearing away the tea that you just had and going and making lunch and keep it rolling and check your phone and answer a few emails. Because there's nothing that's in there by chance or accident. Every single moment means something. Everything someone's saying, touch of a hat, the there is a language that's formed within this world and within this these characters that yes it's political speak but there's so much other things being said and not said um that watching it i mean it is it is kind of gripping and compelling when you when you do sit down but it does require your whole time you know it does require your whole time so um yeah but like more power to you if you've got the eight hours to sit like that bang go for it you know um 
but I, I quite enjoyed it. I, I sort of, uh, I watched maybe one or two at a time and then had to had to do this other thing called life and then get back to it the next day or whatever, yeah. What is it like acting opposite Carrie Russell? A lot of fun, a lot of fun. Um, and and educational as well, you know? I think um, I, I'm always fascinated, uh, having had the opportunity to lead in things, um, I'm, I'm always fascinated to see how other people do it. And I think there's a way that Kerry does it without trying to, and she would squirm if she heard me saying this, but I think she, just naturally with her humility and her generosity uh, that in itself allows other people to come and flourish um, and then there's this kind of insane work ethic that she brings to the table whilst being a mom and a partner and an exec producer on this there's a, a work ethic that just makes you think oh, I don't want to be the person to drop the ball really so um i found all of that uh hugely inspiring actually after watching rory kneer in projects like years and years and our flag means death and i know yeah. he's done they've done a lot more than that but those yeah. you know especially come to mind yeah. um it's interesting to see him here as you know a different sort of pm what did you think of sharing scenes with him and his performance i mean isn't he brilliant he's, he's brilliant um, and I, you know, as he, I'd not met Rory before, but I knew of him and he's, he's quite a, uh, there's those programs that you mentioned, but he's like, I don't know if he'd be considered theater royalty, but he's, he's up there, you know, he's certainly like, I'd heard about his, his, um, his Hamlet, um, and so with script like this and dance and these speeches and he and I go toe to toe. Sometimes it was like, wow, we're, you know, you're going to dance with someone who is very skillful and very, uh, very light on his feet with text. Really, really, really kind of accomplished in that way. So I enjoyed that dance, you know, I really enjoyed that. Um, and I, you know, I hope we get to do it again. I think it's, um, it's nice. It's nice to spar with someone like that. Yeah, definitely. Are there any other co-stars you enjoyed acting opposite? Yeah, there's, uh, so there's a guy called Bav, um, who played Anu, uh, and he plays my sort of, um, my second in command. And you don't get to see so much of him in this, but whenever he is in there, it's, it's just his detail and his level of detail within what we're doing is, it's really wonderful work. It's so subtle and so really lovely, fun guy. Like, yeah, I, I don't think, I don't think it's long before you'll see more of him, but to be honest, like, yeah, the, the whole cast is, there's um, there's a couple of guys that come in in episode four and five, I think. Um, how many of you, where did you get to? Where, where have you managed to see? We did two so far. Two so far. Okay, so in four and five, there's uh, two that come in that are um, hilarious. Hilarious. They remind me of like... Um, did you ever see the film Trading Places? You know the two guys that do the sort of experiment at the um, with Eddie Murphy's character and Dan Aykroyd's character. They remind me of those those guys, Randolph and Mortimer. They sort of they were a great comedy double act. I I enjoyed a lot. Of, I mean, it, it's probably sounds a bit kind of sycophantic, maybe, but I enjoyed a lot of it. I I really did. Yeah, I loved going to work on this one. 
I think it's nice to hear that. I mean, if it's an enjoyable, you know, viewing experience for the audience, why shouldn't the people who made it have, you know, have had fun? That's that's definitely definitely worthwhile. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, no, I enjoyed it. And I know that you worked previously on a series that is very, very different in so many ways from this Carnival Row. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if that's the one you were talking about before when you said you were coming off, uh, yeah, you know, of something, right, yeah. but. What what can you say about the experience that has to be so radically different, I'm sure, from this one? Oh, um, well, there, I mean, certainly, you know, Denison looks like this, but without the beard. So my time in makeup was just a joy. Whereas Carnival Row, um, that was like three hours, you know, in the morning and two hours at night. So... Um, that in itself but I, I yeah I, I I genuinely love that show as well I love um, I loved certainly you know my storyline I say where that feels different to this is we were quite separate on that show like my storyline was very separate to what was going on and uh, with other storylines whereas this even though Denison is quite separate from, from everyone else, I find I genuinely am reading and interested in the storylines of other characters and where they're going. Um, I'm finding that, yeah. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's where I'd say. But the, I'd say the major difference is makeup time and also filming in in England, which has been brilliant for me. I just stay at home rather than, you know, filming abroad. That's very nice. Well, I appreciate the uh, time to speak with you and look forward to getting to see uh, more of Denison and uh, the rest of the season. Thank you so much, David. Thank you so much. Be well.